Hello, everyone. I am Yang Shuzhen from Huijia Health. Uh, I founded Huijia Health. Uh, the core technology of Huijia Health is called non-invasive fiber optic physiological monitoring technology. And it was developed because of a 680 gram premature baby in my family, my brother's child. We invented a technology that can detect very subtle changes in breathing. Later, because my father had a stroke, I adapted it for the elderly um, unexpectedly. After more people saw our technology, they conducted more research. Initially, we only knew if someone was asleep, awake, not in bed, breathing too fast or too slow or not breathing, and we issued alerts. Then something amazing happened. Uh, it was similar to the deputy director of patient monitoring. So later we conducted more research and found out that uh, breathing rate, heart rate, and even sleep quality could be detected. We have already published the world's first case that can detect uh, without wearing any device, obstructive, central, and mixed types of sleep apnea. Now, more research is being conducted, uh, including inaccurate heart rates, atrial fibrillation, and even understanding uh, epileptic seizures, or we are currently further researching the severity of Parkinson's and the potential conditions of Alzheimer's. Then uh, the most important clinical aspect we are currently working on is a prediction for palliative care. We hope to more accurately uh, know when a patient might be nearing the end, for example, uh, we, uh, in some cases, we can know that they might be preparing to pass away in three to four hours. We are also now able to see indications of potential heart failure. So in such situations, uh, it allows the family the opportunity to say goodbye, and it prevents the elderly from dying alone at home. We can make these predictions in advance, uh, because of this technology, we were originally a very local company in Taiwan, but uh, due to COVID-19 and AI, we have been recognized by the world. We were included in a related United Nations report as one of the significant global COVID-19 innovation projects alongside companies like Johnson & Johnson, Moderna, and Philips in this report. We also represented the country uh, in the APEC Best World and won the fourth Industrial Revolution Project Award. Most recently, we were included by the WHO in the Global Smart Healthcare Textbook as the latest innovative aid. Especially our technology has already won the Global Top 100 Technology R&D Award, the Ind 100 Awards, and is on par with NASA and MIT. I am very pleased that after 15 years of effort, we can continue to improve this technology. Uh, particularly with the advent of AI, our data and technology differ from others in that it can, uh, it, its resolution is more than a hundred times higher than others. So while others tell you uh, about certain physiological parameters, uh, uh, wearable devices, they tell you, oh, what the respiratory rate is, what the heart rate is, but our data looks at respiratory failure uh, and even the precursors of heart failure and myocardial infarction, which we can detect. A more subtle one, Thing, uh, a more subtle physiological parameter because with this, when combined with general AI and generative AI, it can um, uh, provide more uh, telemedicine or intelligent shift handover and it is a real signal, help thoroughly solve the problem of insufficient caregiving manpower and improve the overall quality of healthcare, reducing the waste of medical resources. Currently, we hope to find international partners to establish what we call our health big database in various countries. This health big database can help and even save more people in the future. Our company's philosophy is to cherish life and provide dignified care. We hope that since this technology has been successful, it can help people all over the world. In Taiwan, we have already collaborated with over 450 obstetrics and gynecology centers postpartum care centers, nursing homes, and psychiatric institutions, hospitals, psychiatric wards, and even more institutions. We have even applied it in home settings, such as in palliative care or emergency home visits. Helping many people, it has certainly saved many lives. We hope that since this is available, everyone in the world will have the opportunity to use something very uh, simple 
and um, very 